So we just uh, finished the uh, last presentation in the 2011 uh, Passive House uh, Conference uh, where we had guests and participants uh, from all around the globe. Every continent was here, uh, people coming from uh, China, from Alaska, from Australia. Uh, we have seen lots of presentation on realized Passive House projects, uh, not only in Europe, but also in the United States of America. We have seen the progress which is there uh, in the European projects. Uh, lots of new realized uh, Passive Houses in uh, different applications. Uh, I was especially impressed by some examples uh, from the UK where we have seen really architectural good retrofits of existing buildings, uh, even existing row houses, which are listed houses uh, in the UK, which have been refurbished to be passive houses. So this is a real good work which has been done there, and uh, I am uh, glad to see in the future uh, some of the results of the measurements which are uh, taken in these buildings uh, to uh, enrich the experience about passive houses, uh, which uh, is uh, in, a, in the more moderate British climate. Last year was my first Passive House conference. Uh, it was in Dresden and it was a very valuable conference to me in terms of strength and connections that I have in the in the, the Passive House family as it were already and uh, moving forward and getting to see the results of a lot of the research that the Passive House Institute do uh, and it's a rare opportunity to see a lot of their findings in through English, through translation within the lecture series and I think this year has been fantastic. There's been a great range and uh, dialogue of, of, of lectures. And I think the tone has slightly changed a bit that it's about how we get there and about almost maybe customising the approach now to suit different climates, to suit the extreme kind of uses that we put on buildings. The first passive house which was certified was built in 2007, 2008. So um, uh, since then it has been a kind of a break and for a year then in 2009 there were about another three four houses built in 2010 it's it's maybe uh, 10 houses and this year I, I guess we will be at about 15 to 20 houses all over Slovakia so it's still very modest it's by far not what what we would like it to be but uh, but it's definitely going in the right direction you know the passive house principle seems to be for most of Japanese people it's completely different than the traditional Japanese architecture and people um, have kind of misunderstanding that uh, which doesn't work with you know, our climate which is very humid and it's very cold in winter but it's very very hot and humid in summer. Two years ago we decided that we will do only passive houses and since then we have more work Everybody said that, okay, this will be a big problem, you will not have customers. But the, the, the effect is in fact different. And uh, maybe the nicest thing about the whole thing, you get very good and nice customers. They all want the same and it, the, the communication with them is, is, is very good. Well, introducing Passive House is not about copying the, you know, the detail or the thickness of the wall to, the, um, to their own countries but um, kind of transferring the essence and philosophy into the own, you know, architecture, culture. The, the context and the tone and the attitude of people that have come along, that, that that has evolved into something a lot more specialized, specific, and we can see it taking off across various other streams of, of the construction world and in terms of architecture and the quality of design that has come back now this year, that it's, it's evolving into different contexts into different architectural styles which I would be really passionate about promoting that Passive House isn't this stereotypical building design from Germany or from Central Europe that you can adapt it and it can be a beautiful space and um, you, you don't even have to realize you're living in a, in, in, in a house with such kind of uh, integrity or uh, specific concepts but that you you appreciate the, the beauty of the space more and, and people are getting more comfortable. Architects, designers, engineers are getting a lot more comfortable with the concept and how they're communicating it through to clients, to the end user. And that's, I think, something really important. The difficulty of building, I think, depends on the project. If you have a well done project, the difficulty is fairly low. So, um, uh, in fact, we, we have different companies starting to build their first 
passive house for a client because you usually use a, a local company and they are very well motivated doing this house because it's also for them a, a kind of a lighthouse building so it can really show off that's what they're going to, to show to their clients later on so they put in 200% of effort so in fact even if maybe the first house is more difficult because they put in more effort and if the planning is right in fact I think building a passive house is very simple there is absolutely nothing complicated about it and uh, most of the companies doing it after the first or second time they do it they, they say the same Japanese traditional timber house um, which has actually uh, the basic basic idea of passive house already you know, we had a very big south facing window and very large um, you know, overhang to, to protect you know, to, to reduce uh, uh, solar gain in summer and we had a very open um, open plan for the natural ventilation during the summer and we had uh, you know the clay wall with the bamboos uh, you know the great we had a traditional earth render which is actually great for the um, summer mass so these elements is actually um, very important for the passive house design but which is completely missing is insulation and air tightness and these two aspects need to be added to this Japanese traditional timber house. Now we can concentrate more on the design of the house. Before it was more talking about the, the technical solutions and, and technical uh, details. Now it's more about just making good architecture. Yeah, so after the earthquake, um, of course, there are more interest uh, from the people. Uh, they want to have more information for, you know, how to be independent from the, you know, uh, nuclear power. Well, you, you, you need to inform the people so that they, they, they know what reality is about. And I think the Passive House Days in November, that's, that's the best uh, forum where you can do this. Because they meet with the clients who already live in a house like this. And that, that is, is very strong for, for, for the... For somebody who is not convinced about the passive standard, I think that's, that's where he should go.